So in the past few months, I've done a couple of videos on my favorite shinies from different generations, and honestly, it's pretty fun going through all the Pokemon and seeing all of the different and amazing shinies. However, I've noticed that some shinies have changed pretty drastically over the years. Some for the best, and others kind of soured like milk. This happened most notably during the 3DS era of games, along with the shift to 3D. The 3DS certainly has some limitations, which affected a lot of Pokemon color palettes, both original and shiny. But now with the shift to a more powerful hardware in the Nintendo Switch, the problem will seemingly go away. As you can see here with all of the Pokemon being a lot more vibrantly colored and just shaded better. And this has gotten me really excited to see how all all of the shiny variants will turn out. So with that in mind, I wanted to give you guys my list of the top 5 best Pokemon to shiny hunt in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. And as with almost all of my top 5 videos, there will be certain factors I keep in mind when making this list. This time around, I'm going to be looking at shinies that I feel are the best in the region, as well as shinies that were once really nice, but have been dulled down over the years. And before we begin, I actually have two honorable mentions that I want to talk about. With the both of these, I felt that the changes weren't too detrimental, in addition to being the most likely to be fixed in Let's Go. First is Ninetales. Ninetales' is shiny was absolute perfection with its blue silver coat and blue tip tails. However, in Generation 6, that coat turned to dark gray, and the tips of the tails became more dull lavender. Plus, I just talk about this thing way too much. And lastly, we have Starmie. Its 3D model shiny was fairly dull done. However, as we've seen Starmie's colors in trailers, they have been revamped and look fantastic. And judging by that, its shiny palette is probably going to end up being somewhere in between Gen 3 and Gen 4 shiny, which is absolute perfection to me. Of course, if you have your own shiny Pokemon that you think will look better in these games and are worth hunting, be sure to let me know in the comments section below. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. And with that being said, let's get started. Coming in at the number 5 spot, the first Pokemon we are going to be talking about is Arbok. Arbok over the years has definitely been one of my favorite Kanto Pokemon. I mean, it's just a really cool Indian Cobra. It's got a nice color palette and a good design, which in earlier generations, the patterns on its hood used to change too, something I wish they'd still do. But that's a topic for another video someday, but as for its shiny, well, I feel it's been a little lack. The concept for the colors is fantastic to me, being a goldish color. It's always kind of reminded me of Jafar's staff from Aladdin, however, it's just not the right kind of gold color. Game Freak was for sure moving in the right direction going from Gen 3 to Gen 5, but it just wasn't quite there yet. And once the 3D models came along and dulled everything down, it just made it even harder to enjoy it. But as I said in the beginning of this video, the color palettes and shading have been seriously seriously turned up and are very vibrant, as seen with Jesse's Ekans here. The color palette is very similar to Gen 3 and Gen 4's version, but just ever so slightly brighter and more poppy. This gives me full hope that Game Freak will finally be answering my prayers and giving both Ekans and Arbok that fantastic pure gold color I've been wanting for ages. I'll finally be able to pretend that I'm the all-powerful sorcerer. Although just not evil. Or psychotic. You know what? You know, I'll just stop. Next up, we have the Rapidash line. And if you guys have seen my top 5 Gen 1 Shinies video, then you should know that these two are some of my absolute favorites in the entire region and possibly even in the whole series. With Ponyta, the blue flames are just a very nice indication that it's very hot. 
Who would have knew? Fire is hot. But with Rapidash, it had these wonderfully ominous gray flames that reminded me a lot of both my Alolan Rapidash mock-up and the Death and Pestilence horses from Red Dead Redemption. There's just so much I love about this shiny that I could honestly go on about it for the rest of this video. But yet again, the shinies were messed with heavily in the 3DS games, with Ponyta having a darker blue and even a little hint of green in its flames. And worst of all was Rapidash with these super dark gray flames that completely take away from the ghostly ash-like gray it had previously. However, as the color palettes are largely based on the Pokemon Go colors, we can get a general idea of what the shinies will look like, and it's looking pretty good. While Ponyta has a lot more dark blue in it than its previous generations, I'm more fixated on Rapidash, which also looks amazing. It has that nice light ashy gray with just a a hint of blue, giving it that amazingly ghostly feel that I've really been missing. Obviously, don't just let me preach to you about it. Using your eyes, I'm confident you guys will be able to see the majesty that I've been seeing in it for years. And personally, I know I'll definitely be spending a lot of time trying to get myself one of these bad boys. Okay, I know you guys were expecting this one on the list, although I'm sure you were thinking it'd be number one. Yes, that's right. Coming in at the number three spot, we have my favorite Pokemon, Charizard. Now this Pokemon, I actually believe, has aged like fine wine for the most part. They've kept the main palette pretty much the same up until Generation 6, which is honestly a bit of a downgrade. However, once again, the colors in Let's Go, while not the same as they used to be, are still pretty great. Not too dull looking, with some great contrast. But when it comes to the shiny side of things, I believe every generation has improved upon the last. And Let's Go should be no different as we have shiny Charizard in Go as a reference point. There are ever so slight changes that really are just a retouch on what the 3DS games have established. So now we'll just have to play the waiting game to see how it'll look in the upcoming Switch games. But if the pattern we've seen so far ensues, then I think we'll be looking at a continued improvement of Charizard. So you might be asking, if they're only making slight alterations to Charizard, why should you be more excited this time around? Well, that's a great question. You see, normally in Pokemon Yellow, we had the trainers that we could get the original three Kanto starters from. And while that still might be the case, it also appears that we'll be likely to encounter them in the wild as well, if this Viridian Force Bulbasaur has anything to say about it. This is honestly super cool, as this will be the first time we'd be able to get a starter Pokemon in the wild through normal methods. So I personally believe it'll be more coveted this way. It certainly seems it'll be pretty difficult at the very least, and what's a shiny hunt if you're not trying to get something real elusive? Coming in at the number 2 spot, we have yet another one of my favorite Kanto Pokemon in Weezing. I think I mentioned it twice now, but Weezing is real special to me, as its pollution-based design reminds me so much of my hometown being LA. I know it's not the most positive thing to consider special, but it is what it is. To be fair though, that's not the only reason I consider Weezing to be special. It has a great design, being based on naval mines, and it has one of the coolest shiny palettes in all of Kanto. It has this darker turquoise-like color with its smoke clouds changing to purple from tan. This is such a nice change as it conveys more that it's a poison type rather than just being dirty, if that makes sense. Now honestly, there's not too much wrong with Weezing in the 3DS games. Like most Pokemon, it's a bit more dull, but it's not actually too overboard. But that doesn't mean there isn't room for improvement. I think with how high the contrast is turned up in Let's Go, we'll definitely have something amazing to look at. Now again, I know I am pretty partial to the thing, but I wholeheartedly believe this is a Pokemon everyone should shiny hunt for, just because of how colorful it is.
And finally, at the number one spot, the best Pokemon to shiny hunt in Let's Go to me has to be Eevee. Eevee's shiny, I think, has unfortunately gotten worse over the years, with its best looking rendition being in Gen 3. It was just this beautiful silvery white color that I loved so much. But now it's just this dull tannish color that is just super depressing. Now it got a little better in Pokemon Go, but it's nowhere near as good as the Gen 3 game. Games. But as I've speculated, the Shinies won't really be a one-for-one -one matchup with Pokemon Go either, so this still gives me hope we can return to at least something close to the Gen 3 palette. And as for why to hunt it, well, it's obvious for two separate reasons. So far, there's no confirmation that our partner Pokemon is going to be Shiny locked, meaning there is the possibility we could have them as Shinies. And while I think Pikachu's Shiny is alright, it doesn't compare to Eevee even on its worst day. Now I get that not everyone will want a shiny hunt for an Eevee that can't evolve, but personally, I think it would be cool as you can interact with it much more than any of your other Pokemon, so to me, that's just really special. However, there is still the gifted Eevee in Celadon if you do prefer to evolve it into a Jolteon, Vaporeon, or a Flareon. Vaporeon's shiny is pretty good, however, Jolteon and Flareon could use a bit of work. Anyways, in either case for Eevee, they are static Pokemon and will be a bit more tedious to obtain. But if you're up to the challenge, then you will be rewarded greatly as there's nothing quite like a shiny Eevee. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and become an Aribro today. If you want to check out the previous video I did, be sure to click the annotation on the left. If you want to see more Pokemon Let's Go videos, click the other annotation on the right. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time.